other folks are joining as well. Um, it is 930, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And, um, and again, we want to welcome everybody to today's event. Um, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this webinar on the green business partners and best workplaces for commuters. Uh, you're going to hear about both programs today and how they're supporting and recognizing businesses for their sustainability efforts. And best of all, these two county programs have joined forces to make it even easier for local companies to get the recognition and support they need. Now, when you apply to be a best workplace for commuters program, you'll automatically become eligible to join the Green Business Partners program as well with the status of leader. And no additional application will be needed. So you're going to be hearing more about that in today's webinar, uh, which is being co-hosted today by the Fairfax County Office of Environmental Energy, Environmental and Energy Coordination and the Department of Transportation. Uh, my name is John Silcox. I'm the Public Information Officer for the Office of Environmental and Energy Coordination, and I'll be serving as host and moderator for the webinar. Uh, my colleague Emily Bohr is also here. We'll be helping with the webinar. Just a couple of housekeeping notes before we get started. This webinar is being recorded. Uh, additionally, all attendees will be muted with their cameras off. Um, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, please submit them through the chat portal on your screen. If you're not familiar with Teams, um, the icon, the chat icon is there on the screen that, uh, to show you where you can click on and get into the chat and then you can uh, post your questions there or comments. Uh, feel free to do so throughout the webinar. We will go through the presentations first, but we'll leave time for questions at the end and we're scheduled for 30 minutes this morning. And with that, I'm going to go ahead uh, and introduce our first speaker, Teresa McMullen. Teresa is part of the consultant team for Fairfax County Commuter Services, specializing in employer outreach. And in that capacity, she leads the efforts to assist employers in implementing and enhancing transportation demand management programs to serve employee commuter needs. And today she'll be sharing an overview of the best workplaces for commuter recognition program. And with that, I'll turn it over to Teresa. Thank you, John. Uh, good morning, everyone. As John said, my name is Teresa McMullen. I'm an employer outreach specialist, and I've been working with the Fairfax County Department of Transportation Commuter Services Division for almost four years. I work as part of a dedicated team um, throughout the county in creating sustainable commute programs for their employees. The Best Workplaces for Commuters Award, often referred to as a BWC, you'll see it and hear that acronym, is our premier recognition award. We've partnered with the University of South Florida's Center for Urban Transportation Research to provide this award each year. Our program's goals are to reduce traffic congestion and preserve the air quality in our region. And through the Best Workplaces for Commuters program, we're fortunate enough to have an employer award that directly aligns with those goals. It's our way of recognizing and supporting employers who are good transportation partners in the region. And we work with a variety of types of employers each year. Uh, we have the distinct pleasure of being able to work with employers one-on-one -on -one and recognize the things that they are most proud of uh, when working with individual employers, we're always on the lookout for those who are supporting trip reduction goals. And we work with organizations around the county to make sure they're aware of and can take advantage of the transportation options available to them. Our region has extraordinary transportation options. Uh, in addition to Metro Rail and Metro Bus, we have a comprehensive biking and walking trail system. We are fortunate enough to have Fairfax Connector, VRE, and commuter buses that bring people in and out of the county um, every day. There are van pooling and carpooling options, and of course the invisible commute option, telework. Our job is to help employers make sense of all of these options. So when our team is working with an employer, we look at the types of commuter benefits they already have in place and how we can help them enhance these options. We often help employers initiate pre-tax commuter benefits programs, bike share memberships, ride matching support, access to active transportation options, and we work to make sure they have the commuting information they need to support their commuter goals. 
when talking to employers about recruitment and retention, we um, have consistently heard that employees are looking for workplaces that have flexible and sustainable commute options available, uh, transportation, housing, and, um, uh, oh my gosh, my brain. <laughs> um, but transportation becomes one of the biggest uh, pieces that uh, people are looking for quoted as, um, things that employees value and value the most. And we are working to support um, an employer's goals and we see they meet these BWC criteria. We began this conversation about how we can provide this recognition. The BWC Best Workplaces for Commuters uh, cri award criteria are very broad. Um, there are over 40 criteria that we can choose from to help support the um, nomination of an employer. And the criteria that are most often used in our region um, to, to secure that nomination um, are having things like bike storage on, on site, um, fitness centers with showers and lockers to make it easy for people to use active transportation, shuttles to and from the metro, that last mile, first mile um, trip reduction is huge, bike, stair, bike share stations and memberships on site, daycares on site, restaurants on site, um, remote and hybrid work options, the use of um, computer commuter benefits programs, anything that helps employees reduce their need for their single occupancy vehicle during the workday. The employers in our region are already doing so many of these things and it's our job to make sure they understand how these benefits contribute to a more sustainable commute practice. Each year, Fairfax County supports the nomination of 10 to 15 employers in our region for the Best Workplaces for Commuters Award. We work with employers of all sizes and types, and it doesn't matter how many employees are in an organization. What matters is that they are putting sustainable commuting practices into place. We um, pay for the, um, the membership fees for two years, and we work to make the application process very, very simple. Um, we help them complete the application step-by-step, step, making the strongest application for their award. And once the award application is completed by the employer, we even work with the best workplaces for commuter staff to usher that application through to award confirmation. So as I mentioned, um, Best Workplaces for Commuters Award is uh, both a regional and a national recognition process. And um, each January, the Center for Urban Transportation Research honors the awardees at a national um, event. But Fairfax County, again, pays for all related membership and marketing materials for the employers for two years. And these benefits that are offered through the program include things like uh, classes that um, support transportation demand management best practices, certifications for employees at our employer sites, marketing toolkits and materials that the employer can use to promote their own programs, the exclusive use of that Best Workplaces for Commuters logo on their website, as well as publications that are designed by the Center for Urban Transportation Research to help employers continue to make sustainable commute options available. Fairfax County has regional recognition as well. And one of the biggest things that um, the employers that are awarded um, the BWC award enjoy is the recognition program that we do in front of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. Uh, each year, we bring all of the new awardees together to receive a physical award and be honored in front of the Board of Supervisors and have a picture in that meeting hall. In addition, Fairfax County continues that recognition through social media um, and, and other events and ways that we support the Best Workplaces for Commuters awardees in terms of um, highlighting the transportation, hiding, highlighting them as transportation leaders in the region. We um, staff transportation events for our um, members on 
on site. We create newsletter articles for internal communications to promote their own programs to their own employees, as well as keeping them updated on transportation projects in the region and how that might affect them. Our job is to work with our awardees with, um, to help their support their commuter program growth. The Best Workplaces for Commuter program allows Fairfax County to recognize the employers who are doing all the right things in terms of providing environmentally conscious commute options. And we are honored to be part of this collaboration with the Green Business Partners as we work together to create a more sustainable commute in our region. Well, thank you very much, Teresa. That was um, really interesting to learn about the Best Workplaces for Commuters program and how it's supporting employers and implementing green commute programs. As we mentioned before, if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the chat. We will have time at the end to address your questions uh, for either of our speakers today, um, so please do so. Um, but with that, I'm going to um, introduce our next speaker. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Neely Law. Neely is a community specialist with the Office of Environmental and Energy Coordination and the co-manager of the Green Business Partners Program. And today she'll be sharing an overview of the program and how it can support businesses who are interested in or already embracing sustainable business practices like the commuting um, services that Teresa just mentioned. So with that, Neely, take it away. Great. Good morning and thank you, John. Fairfax County's Office of Environmental Energy Coordination is pleased to provide an overview of the Green Business Partners Program this morning, or GBP. We see the Green Business Partners Program as one of the many ways Fairfax County supports its business community while also working together to take climate action. So I'm going to take about 10 minutes to go through the GBP program and how the program may support businesses in their sustainability journey. So now is the time for the county to rethink its approach to the Green Business Partners program. In 2021, the county adopted ambitious goals to be carbon neutral by 2050. You may have heard of the term carbon neutral. Carbon neutral refers to a balance between greenhouse gases emitted and removed from the atmosphere. And carbon dioxide is one of those greenhouse gases or CO2. And CO2 warms our atmosphere, but too much of it impacts our climate with more extreme heat and extreme weather conditions. Reducing carbon dioxide by changing how we get from place to place, commuting, heat or cool our buildings and remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere through trees and soils will help us meet this goal. No doubt this is an ambitious goal shared by many municipalities throughout the United States. With Fairfax County emissions reduction targets in 2030, 2040, and 2050. To learn more about what the county is doing um, through on its many actions, you can scan the QR code or visit our website to learn about our climate action plans. However, we know in talking to the business community that the Fairfax County business community is, is leading the way in sustainability because it's not only good for the planet, it's also good for business. So we developed the GBP program to recognize that leadership and to encourage other benefit, other businesses to join. The vision behind the Green Pro Business Program is a thriving and resilient business community working to reduce greenhouse gas emissions for uh, sustainability and a healthy and prosperous Fairfax County. Our mission is to support businesses in creating a carbon neutral economy through collaboration and learning opportunities that advance climate action. So the new Green Business Partners program is a two tiered structure. It offers a membership level and a member level and a leader level. This two tiered approach allows the program to be as inclusive and as possible, open to businesses of all types and sizes. I'd like to note that we recently added a third category called the Green Business Partner Ally. While an ally does not qualify as a member or a leader, it allows nonprofits, uh, county agencies, chambers of commerce, and other organizations to help us work with businesses to meet our mission through collaboration. So to join as a member, um, a business would 
qualify if they are not yet implementing but are interested in adopting sustainable business practices, or the business has taken some initial steps and would like to loom, do more. To be eligible as a member, a business must have a physical location in Fairfax County, a business license, the business has implemented or is willing to implement at least three sustainability practices within one year of membership. And we do have over 30 practices to get you thinking about what those practices might be and would be a good fit for your company on the GBP website. So we would ask during the application process for these member uh, applicants to sign a pledge that the business is willing to take those initial steps. And then after one year to demonstrate the adoption of those three practices. The second category of membership is a leader. This is an advanced membership category for businesses that have integrated sustainability as part of their business model. A leader has already implemented sustainability business practices and received recognition for their efforts. Or the business is certified by a third party organization. This is reflected in the eligibility criteria that you see on the right. And we have an example set of third party certifications or awards and recognitions that if a business has would qualify them in this leader category. Of course, noting the best workplace for commuter program as well. So I'd like to take a couple of minutes to highlight one of our leaders in the Green Business Partners Program, Freddie Mack. Freddie Mack has headquarters in Fairfax County. It was established in 1970 as a congressionally chartered corporation with the public mission to help to provide reliable and affordable mortgage funds across the county. Their work supports home buyers, home buy, homeowners, and renters, guided by a strong environmental, social, and government strategies. Freddie's Mac's commitment really demonstrates a whole of business approach to sustainability. For example, they've established a corporate sustainability office in 2020. For employees, there is a green business resource group that hosts events like personal document shredding and e-waste recycling, all of their owned buildings are supplied by 100% renewable energy. There are a number of many actions in energy and water efficiency that help save money uh, through reducing their energy use and water use consumption. They are also reducing uh, solid waste through recycling, reusing and composting, and they have over 40 EV charging stations for their employees at their headquarters. All of these actions have uh, provided Freddie Mac with a number of awards and recognitions. So what are some of the benefits if you become a member or a leader of the Green Business Partners program? There is a digital and decal logo as well as a membership certificate uh, to show in your workplace that you are a green business partner and committed to taking climate action. There is a press release template that we provide to the businesses to announce your membership to your customers and clients. We also promote the businesses through an online membership directory. There'll be webinars like today um, to providing informational um, how you can further your sustainability efforts uh, through programs or through your peers in the business community. We are also in the process of curating downloadable educational materials uh, for how you can take climate action to include financial incentives to help offset the costs of adopting those actions and also featuring a business profile on social media and our website. For the leader categories, we'll be uh, working with our local production company to create a video vignette highlighting your company's actions. And our first one should be on our website in a few weeks. So we are working with our businesses to build these benefits out to ensure our program meets the needs of the business community. So why join the Green Business Partners program? Uh, well, first get recognition. Let your clients and customers know that you are making the commitment uh, to building a program around sustainability and recognizing the benefits it provides to your customers as well as the community. 
You can enhance your sustainability efforts through the resources and connections that we will introduce you to other businesses that are like-minded um, within your community, and as well as the resources we provide through the program. Save time and money. We'll be adding information on financial incentives um, and other ways in which you can learn to save money through the adoption of green business practices. Reducing energy use, reducing water consumption, reducing waste, all results in the bottom line of cost savings. And of course, all it's going to be free. So how do I join? Well, as Teresa mentioned, if you are a Best for Workplace Commuters awardee, you're automatically qualified as a leader in the program. And we would encourage you to contact your Fairfax County Commuter Services Employee Outreach Specialist to opt in. If you're not already an awardee, it's an easy three-step process. Visit our website. Please scan the QR code on the, the slide and fill out the form. The form is very straightforward and it shouldn't take more than five minutes to complete. The staff will review um, and provide a, a decision or response back in approximately three weeks, notifying you of acceptance into the program. And at that time, you would receive a welcome kit with the benefits um, that was mentioned on the previous slide. So thank you very much for joining today and your willingness to learn uh, a little bit more about what the county is doing to support our businesses in Fairfax County. Well, Neely, thank you very much. Um, really um, helpful to hear more about how the Green Business Partners program works and how it's helping businesses take their sustainability efforts to the next level. So now you've heard about both of these programs, and here's the best part, as Neely mentioned, if you apply to be a work, Best Workplaces for Commuters um, program, you can automatically opt in to the Green Business Partners program at the leader level. That means you'll receive all the benefits of both programs without needing to apply separately. Um, and it's a great way that Fairfax County is trying to recognize businesses that have integrated green commuter programs into their overall sustainability efforts. So that um, concludes our presentations this morning, um, and we're going to um, go ahead and address some of the questions that have come in, and we encourage you to um, uh, post any additional questions you may have for our speakers in the chat now. Um, but I just want to go back. Uh, there was a question posted earlier from Pam about what is the timing of submitting for the best workplaces for commuters? And Teresa, do you mind addressing that? Of course. Um, we accept the nominations for best workplaces for commuters awardees year round. Um, what we do is it, each year up until November, those are the awardees for that year, and they're recognized at that County Board of Supervisors meeting in December. So um, right now we, you know, we are taking applications and we are um, putting them through, but um, we are always, we are always on the lookout for businesses that deserve this recognition and would like to be recognized this way. Great, thank you very much for addressing that question. I see Tanya also posted some of that information in the chat as well, so hopefully we answered that question. Um, we also got a question about um, where to find program information and honorees for the best workplaces for commuters. Uh, Tanya was um, helpful in, in posting the link to that page. Is there anything more you wanna say on that, Teresa? Um, yes, so Tanya posted the link to the Fairfax County Community Services page with our um, best workplaces for commuters information and you do see the list of all of the awardees. This program has been going on um, since 2014 was our first year. So we're coming close to 150 employers that have been recognized over the years. And um, you can find all of the information about those employers or, or the list of those employers and more information if you wanna just kind of click through and see more information about the best workplaces for commuters program. Great, thank you so much uh, for that uh, response, Teresa. Again, if you have additional questions, please post them in the chat. We um, will be happy to address those now with either of our speakers. Uh, while we're waiting for any additional questions, let me just ask a couple of questions of our speakers. Um, um, you provided great information on the benefits and incentives for both programs. Wondered if you could talk a little bit about, is there any specific training or support that you provide to the businesses who participate? I'll maybe throw that to you first, Teresa. 
Sure. There is actually a great deal of training and support that comes with the Best Workplaces for Commuters awardees. Every spring, the Center for Urban Transportation Research, who we partner with, which is out of the University of South Florida, they do a commuter choice class. And these are all uh, taught by um, professors at University of South Florida and um, researchers from the Center for Urban uh, Transportation Research. And they are open to employee employees of employers that were recognized. Um, I know actually we have one of our um, recent BWC members who's on this call right now. And I know he's been taking advantage of that commuter choice program um, um, just provide incredible um, classes and information that way. Great, thank you for that. Uh, Neely, anything you wanted to add with respect to the Green Business Partners Program? Yeah, certainly. Um, we recognize through the Green Business Partners Program that businesses, um, there's a diverse business community in Fairfax County, those that are already taking extensive and implemented sustainable business practices, and those are just wondering, where do I start? And our program is based on the uh, model of, of collaboration and peer-to-peer -peer learning. We know that businesses want to hear from other businesses in terms of um, what are you doing, um, the what, the why, and the how. So through our Green Business Partners program, we are working to establish a network uh, so that businesses can learn for, from, from one another. Um, as our program is quite new, it just launched um, in March of this year, uh, we are also working to curate uh, resources on the website. And as I mentioned, there's a, a quick list of 30 actions that businesses um, can take. We'll be updating that on a regular basis and while also pairing that with cost information as well as um, incentives that businesses can take advantage of. You know, now is the time to really expand or adopt these practices with the incentives and tax credits that are currently out there. Uh, so we are really uh, working to be a facilitator to share that information with the businesses in the county as well. Thank you and so much. I, yes, go ahead. Yep, and I just saw a question pop up in the question uh, in the chat box that, yes, you did hear correctly, that if you are a Best for Workplace Commuter awardee, there is no additional charge uh, for you to opt in and to be recognized as a Green Business Partner leader. We would just need to connect with the FCC uh, uh, coordinator um, in the county in, or if there is interest uh, to have that contact information shared with us. Right, and I replied, absolutely. I will, um, I will make sure that we get you all connected and get that process started for this employer because I know who this is. Great. I love making these connections. <laughs> Someone also um, had asked if you can be a Best Workplaces for Commuters awardee more than once, and you can. Um, that's a, a more um, involved question, so I'm going to ask um, to have people contact me if they would like to look into that because um, it depends on if there are you know, new programs started, but if you've already been an awardee, you will automatically be able to still be a green business partner, but whether we can pay for all of those membership and marketing materials a, a second time for you, that's a question that we have to look at very carefully. How long has it been since you were um, given the award? Have you implemented more programs? Um, but I can absolutely help and make sure that if you're ready to have that recognition again, we can get it put into place for you. Great, thank you for addressing those questions. Um, I wanted to mention uh, that um, this webinar is being recorded. We are going to share a, a link to the recording um, um, in the next few days. Uh, and I, I see there was a question in the chat from um, Kate about sharing today's slides. We'll try to provide a, a, a copy of the slides as well when we send out a link to the recording. Uh, so you will get that information here uh, soon. Um, but we wanted to just note that for you. Um, 
And um, let me see if, if there are any other additional questions that have come in. Uh, I think we've addressed it, everything that's come in so far. Um, so if you do have any final questions, please post them now. Um, and I think uh, we are at the top of the hour now. So um, if we don't have any additional questions, um, we can go ahead and, and, and wrap up for today. Um, you see on the screen, there's information um, for both of these programs, the websites, uh, email addresses, and phone numbers for, for how to contact these programs and the folks you heard from today. Uh, if you do have additional questions after today, and we do encourage you to visit those websites, you'll find more information on the programs, um, on the benefits that you heard about today, as well as uh, lists of the recipients and, and current members, so you can see who else is participating. Uh, again, uh, last call for questions. I don't see any more, so I think we'll go ahead and wrap up for today. Again, thank you for joining our webinar on Green Business Partners and Best Workplaces for Commuters. I want to thank our speakers, Teresa McMullen and Neely Law. Um, please look for an email with the presentations and a link to the recording for today's webinar in the next few days. If you enjoyed this webinar and want to know more about the upcoming Green Business Partners offerings that you uh, that we that we talked about today, please visit that website or email greenbusiness at fairfaxcounty.gov. And for more information on Fairfax County Commuter Services, including the best workplaces for commuters, you can visit the website on the screen or email to DOT Commuter Services at fairfaxcounty.gov. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining.